chastise no one. Or they're tired of being chastised. I started uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 9 verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved that shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed uh, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Then shall they That's be the elect. The elect of Israel. But the rest were blinded. Two thirds of Israel. Then shall there be a pitiful case, which now abuse my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Right, they didn't. They didn't care. They didn't even. They didn't care to really know the Lord. Like you got some, some, uh, some of these two thirds that come up here, and they're saying that they love the Lord. Okay. Well, if you love the Lord, what does the Lord look like? It, it don't matter what He looks like. That's what that's the response. But wait, the scriptures say, tell us they give it gives a description of what He looks like, and then we break it down to Him. What, and what is the response? Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, he, he can be whatever color or whatever. It still don't matter, right? They, 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 they don't know the Lord. That's part of knowing Him. Because there's a there's a picture out in the world that's saying that's saying that he looks that way, the long hair, baby blue eyes, and pale skin. That's not that's not what the Bible says of the scriptures of the, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of all truth. They don't know him. Um, but for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law, they despise his law. That's another one because that's part of knowing him. That's the beginning of fearing. The, 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 uh, the beginning of knowledge is the fear of the Lord. So how do you fear the Lord? It's whenever you read the law, that's the commandments, and you find out the consequences if you go off against those. You go off those. And they that have loathed my law while, while they are yet liberty, and when it's yet place of repentance to open unto them. Right, like going back to uh, Wisdom of Solomon, or uh, uh, Proverbs chapter 1, it says, Wisdom crieth out. And 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 uh in the streets and, and the Lord reaches out His hand and no man regard it. That that's where He's you're under you're, you have liberty right now. The grace, you know, that's your chance. Oh. Yeah, and when it's yet place of repentance was opened up to them, understood not. Yeah, they y'all don't understand. That's why I look at all these damn people, man, here in San Angelo, up and down the streets, going by. They don't even, they're, they're not even trying to seek the Lord. They ain't even trying to know the Lord. That's why the Lord says, many are called, but few chosen. And the Lord only deals with the small group of, uh, he deals with small numbers. Um, understood not, but despised it. But they despised it. They're despising us. They're looking, up, they're looking at us when they drive by as, as if, oh, look at those two idiots. And they're still out here after all this time. Look at it, just, they're, they're still by themselves. They ain't got the truth. That's what they're saying. That's what they think. Why? Because in, their, in, the, in the world's eyes, it's all about numbers. It's how big the number is. This, this right here, this, this ain't no, this, this, it's not trendy. It's not a, 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 what, what the world wants. What the world wants is, is to, uh, to uh, lust after uh, strange flesh, the philosophies, uh, material, whatever it may be that man's uh, uh, downfall, women, drink, drugs, whatever. Uh, but they understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. So for those actions, they must know it death by pain. And like we say, you don't, have to, you don't have to believe us. You know what I'm saying? But when that day comes, then that's when you're going to know. That's what the scriptures say in Ezekiel. Surely, they, uh, a pro you wouldn't, now you knew that a prophet had been among you. And really, it was Yahweh Shai the whole time telling you. Because we're just men. We're just vessels. We're like mediums being used. Hoping that we're going to be delivered. Though. That's 
where we put faith in his word and, and, and uh, those promises he told when he told Peter. Well, what do we give for, sake, for, for forsaking all that we forsook? He said you're going to get, uh, 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 what is it, a hundredfold? Yep. You're going to get more. And, 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 you can, and, and you can go to the book of Job and find out what Job uh, received for an enduring to the end. And really, well, and they're really mad just to put it out there because, you know, like I've been thinking hard about it lately because the whole, like, well, all, all the brothers are always pushing it out, man. We don't deserve nothing from what we've done. Because uh, I was thinking about that scripture in Luke when it was talking about that, uh, that master who had those servants that were out in the field and when they came in uh you know pretty much the servant was having a little hissy fit because he he wanted a rest or something but uh yahweh Shah was telling that parable but he goes um that he was explaining that the master didn't have to do nothing for that man because that servant was doing what he was supposed to do he had to take care of the master first and then he could eat after he was done feeding his master you know like but that but that man that servant he was like like don't i get a thank you or something pretty much that's what he wanted. He wanted some kind of type of reward to show that, like, hey, I've been busting my ass, you know? But really, man, he wasn't doing nothing. He was doing his job, which is what we're doing. And, like, uh, but it just shows how merciful the most high is. Like, you get a reward if you strive for the masteries. Like, the most high, you don't have to give us a reward, man. You can just be like, all right, you know, all right, you did what you're supposed to do in America. All right, time to go to the next kingdom. All right, you know? Uh, this is Romans 3. It's it. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understandeth, there is none that seeketh after God. They are all gone out of the way, they are, they are all, they are together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Right, and that goes to everybody, any, any human being. Because like, if you keep on reading further down, it says, for, man, for all men, all men are short of short. Isaiah even tells you right there that our righteousness is as filthy rags. Even at, even at that, King Solomon's righteousness was as filthy rags. So, you know, they're, they're in it. And the point is that we're all profitable. You know, we don't deserve nothing. Right. You know, be used. But just hope that the Lord sees you and that He's going to use you and save you, deliver you. Because the, the spirit is what comes into us. We're basically being possessed, taken over to do this, what we do. It's through the will of him, going to Philippians 2 and 13, I believe. It says, it's through the will of him that we, we have this power. We do, we do it. We do his, his bidding. Not because of us. Uh, I think this is the one you're talking about. Uh, Luke 17. And that's where it tells it too, like we are on profit. Yeah. 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 Right, you want me to read it? I'll read it. Uh, this is Luke 17. Seven. And seven. But which of you, having a servant plowing or feeding cattle, will say unto him, by and by, when he has come from the field, go and sit down to meet. And when I rather said to him, make ready wherewith thou mayest sup, and gird thyself and serve me, till I am eaten and drunken, and afterward thou shalt eat and drink. Doth he think that servant because he did the things that were commanded him? I troll not. And I troll not means I believe not. So likewise ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say, we are a prophet of the servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. Right. That's the kind of attitude we're supposed to have. We're unprofitable. We don't deserve nothing. We're just hoping that we, we, we be delivered. Hope. We're not saying, oh, we know we're going to be saved like the two-thirds. They they, they, they they come up here and they say that they know they're, they're, they're going to be saved. And that's why, man, like, uh, another thing, really all in all, like, this is all for the, like, like, who do we got to give glory to in the beginning all the time? Yahweh Ba'a Shem Yahweh Shai. It's all about Yahweh Ba'a Shem Yahweh Shai. It didn't say it's about Yaakov, Yabatiza, Abba Shabala, all your other brothers. It's not about us. Uh, because that's why, and another thing, that's why too, you can be 
always say, like, my brother from the servants, because he's using us to always continue to glorify him. That's why Israel's going to be there forever and ever, because he's going to have that, his creature doing what? Continually glorifying him. That's what they're doing up in the heavens right now, glorifying the most high. Holy, holy, our Lord. You know? It's because that's what we're going to be doing, man. And like, and like I always say, on the, uh, like I always say, should we not, as man who is vanity, should we not, since we're being given the gift of immortality, should we not uh, give that, you know, that little bit of glorification from the most high forever, which is forever, for letting us have these exceeding, exceeding abundant riches? You know, like think about it. But it just shows the beauty and the, 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 uh, the power, the mercy, the incredible mercy of the Most High, the love that He's got for our people. You know? But it's just putting out there that everything that's happening, man, is for the glory for the Most High. And that us, like you're saying, we're just doing what we're commanding, man. You know, like it gives examples in the Bible, like we can't fight against the Lord whenever it's meant for us to come out here. So that's what I was just saying, you know? But we're all unprofitable servants. I'm nothing. This brother, he, he's nothing. The, and all the brothers, y'all, y'all were nothing. You know. And we gotta maintain that mentality, and that humbleness, because if, if you get proud, man. I have a good example. This brother can remember it too. We had this Negro uh, uh, woman come on one time, and she had a, she had a little, a little good uh, love of knowledge. But we asked her, who, uh, where did you find this knowledge from? Because uh, before she came up, she actually uh, pretty much uh, squeezed her tires and she made a little, a, a little bitch on us. And uh, she goes, I, I found y'all, I found y'all, I finally found y'all. Y'all are the ones with the sign. So I didn't know, and she started crying and everything. She, you know, it was showing. But then we asked her in the middle of the conversation, where did you find this knowledge from? Who do you, how do you know about us? And she said, I, I got it from my own understanding. And we ain't never seen that woman no more again. But we know she likes to hang out down the park over here. Just to show, man, if you don't give the glory, if you don't give the glory to the most high, man, you gotta take it from you like that, man. And messing with this knowledge, if you get the true understanding and you mess with it, the most high's gonna take you out. Because you don't want to glory, give glory to him. You wanna be called a rabbi. And that's what knowledge does, man. That's why you gotta be, you gotta be like uh, walking on eggshells, man. You know, with the with the most high, because you gotta always constantly be examining yourself, man, making sure that you're not going the wrong way. Because that lip, like, that's what knowledge does, man. Knowledge puffs it up, and it could cause you, it could cause even the most righteous man to stumble and think that he's something. And then what do you know, bam, he's, he's taken out. And that's what's, and, that, and really, summing all up, we're speaking on, that's why the most is coming back, because nobody's giving glory to him. Everybody's taking this moment of self knowledge, and they're, you know, they're thinking of something. When they transfer themselves into God. Right, yeah. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 43 and 29. The Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous in his power. Yeah. When you glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as you can. For even yet, but he far, he far exceed. And when you exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. Right, so that's why he's gonna, that's why he's gonna have his creature put there forever, man. To always constantly be cool, giving glory to him that created him. Let. 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 Let.
Ecclesiastes 43 and 30. When you glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as you can, for even yet will he far exceed. And when you exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for you can never go far enough. Right. So, so, so that's why, like I was saying, all these things are being done. That way in the end we give glory forever and ever to the most high. He's a God, right? He's a, he's a power, a true judge. He's worthy of all things. And worthy of all things. And it says even at that, that he, it's a, it's a, like I said in uh, Matthew, man, there are some things that are impossible to man. That's one of them, man. You can you can never uh, exalt the most high to a uh, to a satisfaction. Yeah, it's never enough. Yeah, it's, like never enough. it's impossible. Even whenever we're delivered out of America, it's still not, it's still not gonna be enough for us. Uh, like that, what he did is still not enough for us to exalt him to the fullest, you know? The point is, all in all, man, we we gotta remain humble until this thing pops off and continue to abound in the word and truth and sincerity. Like I said, uh, like I read in Hebrews, that if you turn back, the most high is gonna take no pleasure in you. So, and he's gonna let you, like I said, uh, in Proverbs, he that wandered out of the way, wandered out of, the way of, uh, of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And put it out there again, America's hard times are coming to America. Oh, uh, this is Second Peter's, First Peter's five and five. Likewise, you younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. For God resists the proud and give it grace to the humble. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of Yahweh that he may exalt you in due time. Right. See, and that's what it's all about. And when is he gonna when is he gonna exalt the elect when America when America's being destroyed? Like we're always talking about the powers that the elect's gonna get. It's gonna be that's gonna be an ex, a, a self-glorifying thing right there. Whoever heard of a man? Ever heard of a man being able to pick up like 2,000 pounds of whatever man with just his hand, one hand? Yeah, man, that's 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 spiritual power, and only the, and we already know that the Most High is the one that's given that. Who ever heard of a man being able to be hit with a bunch of bullets and he don't die, and they don't even break his skin, don't even give him a scratch, you know? And that's what that's what that's a neat, that's another thing we're gonna have to exalt him for, man. Even in the kingdom, we're gonna have that power, like. Uh, because like I said a few weeks back, Israel, man, we're gonna be uh, uh, untouchable. We're gonna be pretty much, we're gonna be invincible to the heathen. And we're gonna be invincible with that spiritual power. That's what I uh, read in Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter five, it said that he was gonna put the arm of in invinci invincibility. He's, ain't nobody, nothing gonna be able to penetrate. Ain't nothing gonna be able to touch the land. Like I said, uh, one of the Corinthians, who was able to separate us from the love of the most high. Who can even stand up against the Lord's elect? Nobody can, nothing can. Whether it be spiritual or physical, at a carnal level. You know, that, that, that's how uh, uh, powerful the Lord is. We're not even, if we, you know, we're not even have, we don't even have that, 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 that right now we're having that spiritual power because we're coming out here doing this work. But as far as uh, showing that extra, uh, like that extra terrestrial, super, uh, that superhuman abilities, we don't got that yet. But right now is spiritual power being displayed. The spirit is power. When you read these scriptures, that's why a lot of people can't really do nothing because this this word, this truth, it puts them in their, it, it stops them. It stops them in their tracks. Those devils are subjected to this truth, man. Even the, the scriptures say even the, uh, the devil's fear and trouble. So a man can have his, his mind set up to do something against the elect, but the Lord's like, nah, man, you ain't gonna, I'll, I'll let you get to the point where you walk up to him, but you ain't gonna fulfill what you wanted to do. That's where the most high works. This truth will stop them. They'll come up here, they may see us from a distance, but like, oh, they're punks. You know, they're all, they, they're nobodies. I mean, we're nobodies, but in their, he, my, his mind, he's some, 